Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we will be covering everything that you need to know about Cognizant Gen C Technical Assessment 2025, including your exam pattern, cluster information, guidelines and free resources to prepare. Make sure that you watch the video till complete end because whether you are aiming for Gen C, Gen C Pro or Gen C Next role, this is a must watch for all of you. So guys, before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on a regular basis. And guys, if someone is not aware, I have a complete playlist on Cognizant Prep. You will find the actual technical assessment questions in this video. So make sure that you check this playlist. It will be very helpful for you. So let's get started. And first of all, let's see what we are going to discuss in today's video. So first of all, we are going to see the key dates and process overview. Then we are going to talk about important exam guidelines. Then we are going to move on towards understanding the clusters that is your Java, Python and C Sharp. Then exam pattern that is the detailed view for it. So some of the preparation material for all of you, some sample questions and some final tips. Let's get started and let's look at the first thing which is uh, the key dates and process overview. So guys many of you have already completed your aptitude assessment and communication assessment. And now uh, like communication assessments were scheduled on 17th of April followed by your aptitude round 2 which was on 21st of April and then your technical assessment was scheduled for 22nd of April but due to delays it is now happening uh, after 2 or 3 days. So based on your performance you will be shortlisted for the roles uh, like you know either Gen C, Gen C Pro or Gen C Next. So let me tell you how I was getting a lot of queries that are these rounds in itself like you know annihilation rounds or not. So guys, you have to understand that communication round, aptitude round and technical rounds are not elimination rounds in itself, but they are very important because the performance in all three will be considered for your shortlisting for interviews and your shortlisting for different roles. That is which role you will get. Okay. Like either you will get Gen C, Gen C Pro or Gen C Next. Moving on, let's see some important exam guidelines before you appear for your technical assessment. You will receive an email for the cognizant which will title as technical assessment invitation. Duration of the test is going to be 120 minutes. Platform is going to be MSB, which is uh, you need to download and update to version 36 if you are using Windows. You need to run a system compatibility check. You have to disable antivirus before starting your test and then make sure that your webcam is like working properly because my webcam is mandatory for this test. Don't refresh or click F5. It will end the test. And guys, I just want to let you know now itself that just in case if your assessment, you know, closes just in between, don't waste time just you know as soon as possible restart the test because sometimes what happens is if like you know if you like uh, rejoin it in a few minutes then you can still join it okay but if you wait too much then the assessment will close and then you won't be able to join it again then no backtracking between questions will be there so make sure that you are attempting it properly in one go attempt all the questions that are given in the order there is no negative marking so make sure that you attempt all the possible questions and only one attempt is allowed so I hope the exam guidelines are clear to you. Now moving on to the cluster details. So now you must be aware that we, there are three clusters. Now, you know, Cognizant gives you an option that you have to, like you can select for your cluster, but it does not guarantee that whatever the cluster that you have selected, you will get based, uh, that only in your assessment. Basically, they are just giving you, or giving you an option, but the final decision of cluster allotment is totally dependent on them. So there are three clusters, Java, Python and C Sharp. Now, just in case if you are also confused, how can you check which cluster is yours and which cluster you have got before your assessment. So what you need to do is you can check your cluster by clicking the start test button. Don't worry when you do this, your test won't begin. Okay. That is once you click on the start test, it, the initial screen will display something like tag CL1 set 6, which means you have got cluster 1 and cluster 1 is Java. So in this way, you can check which cluster you have got before your assessment. Okay. So Make sure to check your cluster and then prepare accordingly, according to your cluster. Now let's discuss the exam pattern, which is the detailed view, like how many questions will be there in each cluster and what types of questions will come. So guys, each cluster will have three sections, total of five questions will be there and total time that will be given to you will be 120 minutes. And guys, let me tell you now itself that your major decision for, you know, a higher role like Gen C Pro or Gen C Next depends on the good performance of your, uh, like technical assessment. So let's see. So the better the performance in technical assessment, higher is the chances that you may end up uh, getting Gen C Next or Gen C Pro. So <coughs> let's first of all discuss cluster one, which is Java. So in Java, you will get first uh, two coding questions, which is for uh, like, you know, medium level difficulty, which will have like 60 minutes of time. Then SQL questions, you will have two. 
which is easy to medium level difficulty with 35 minutes of time and guys sql questions repeat a lot so make sure that you prepare for my videos which i have already uploaded okay i have already uploaded a lot of videos in which i have covered actual questions of sql and then the third section is web ui in which html css and javascript types of questions will be there it will be like basically one question to set up the ui and it will be easy level question if you have practiced it well and for this you will get 25 minutes and then talking about cluster 2 you will have python so in that you will get python coding for which you will have two questions sql two questions and then cloud fundamentals which will be mcqs 10 mcqs will be there and guys all the videos are already there in the cognizant prep playlist related to cloud fundamentals and all these questions make sure to check those play, uh, playlists talking about cluster 3 which is a c-sharp so in c-sharp you are going to have coding questions which will be two okay and then two sql questions which are similar like basically this second part which is of sql is similar in all the three clusters and then coming to web ui again similar to the last one cluster 2 you will have one question where you need to set up your ui okay uh, and based on html CSS, and javascript so i hope the exam pattern is clear to you now two sample questions i have taken i will not be telling you the answers of it because i have taken a lot of actual questions in already in my previous videos make sure to check them and you know prepare well for your aptitude or, or like technical assessment so for example the sql question will come like this write a query to display employee name who have more than five years of experience and joined after gen first use analysis now you will be given a table and based on that you need to write, write your sql query then code level questions also you can get like you will get problem statement questions basically given a string with only x and y remove repeated character so x is followed by one y and output the number of removals needed so in this way you will get your questions okay i hope it is clear now before we end up this video i have few final tips for uh, the candidates who are going to appear for your technical assessment make sure that your laptop is charged if not try to connect it with the like you no know, try to connect your charger when you are giving your technical assessment so that don't so that you don't run out of power and check your internet connectivity also use a system with a webcam keep your face visible stay calm if even if the questions are tough don't panic stick to the rules and attempt all the questions honestly and guys uh, make sure that you don't move too much little bit of movement is fine but you know if you are moving too much it might consider as a malpractice so guys i have tried to cover everything that was possible in this video if you have any more doubts please let me know in the comment section i will try to answer all of your questions you can join me on telegram and follow me on instagram as well you can send your customized queries over instagram dm also i will try to answer them make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from my channel that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.